my channel. So today I am just giving you guys a quick review on this unit that Wes Kiss sent me. This unit is definitely not for those who are shy, timid, don't want to stand out. If you're looking to stand out, you want to be noticed, that kind of thing. This is going to be a unit for you. It's long. The curls and waves are absolutely beautiful. Along the way in this video, I'm going to give you guys a few tips and tricks as well. Show you guys how I styled it and let you know my final thoughts. So let's get right into this video. you guys so starting off let me give you the details about this wig this wig is from West Kiss this is their 13 by 6 deep wave lace front wig it's in 250% density and it's in 28 inches I did bleach the knots on this unit and I'm gonna start by just going in and doing a little bit of plucking with West Kiss and their units, you certainly don't have to pluck if you do not want to, if you're not skilled, you have to, you know, you have to want to pluck or you just don't have the time as well. Um, so just know that you are able to just pop this on and go. They give you a pretty decent hairline, but we can make it a little bit better. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just really taking out the bulk and just lightening the hairline up just a little bit. Like I'm not doing anything special and I probably took a little less than five minutes to do both sides so that's all I did on this side and I'm gonna turn it to the other side and show you what's not plucked so that you see the difference so a quick tip I feel like when it comes to um, wavy hair or curly hair a wax stick is definitely necessary because it really helps to flatten it out um, wherever your part is and to make it a little bit more realistic and you don't really want to put too much heat into it um, with your hot comb even though I'm going to show you guys of course using my hot comb just a bit but the wax stick helps a lot if you wear wigs if you're thinking about wearing them I highly recommend you getting a wax stick and I, of course everything that I'm using will be linked in my Amazon store so make sure you check out the description box but another tip is if you just want the top flat just use some foam um, and just lay your hair like lay the wig down you don't have to do what I'm doing and use a hot comb um, just keep in mind the less heat you put on a unit the you know easy styling you do all that kind of stuff really increases the longevity of a wig so if you have a curly unit you don't want to put any heat on it you can skip what I'm doing here and using my hot comb and just use some setting lotion and tie it down and you'll get a flat outcome as well. Do y'all ever feel like, you know, you're about to put your wig on, you're about to get, you know, a style done or whatever the case may be, and you just know it's about to be super cute on you before you even get it done? That's how I felt about this particular unit. I just knew I was like, HD lace, check. 28 inches, deep wave, check, check. Coming from West Kiss. And you guys know West Kiss is absolutely one of my favorite companies. I was like, they hit the mark all up and through this particular unit so doing what i always do you guys just using my um hard head spray from tg doing a little little something here i don't know y'all think i was listening to some music and blow drying it down i'm using my dyson blow dryer as well and this late was perfect i love hd lace if there's like if you are wanting to get a wig and they offer hd lace get it like absolutely just get it the next lace i would get would be transparent and then you know from there it is what it is all right y'all so i've got the lace all nice and melted next we're gonna get in to add in some baby hair some edges now i really wanted to you know be a little bit extra when it came to my edges this go around because I was like big hair curly hair we gonna really go in on these edges and do a little bit extra I didn't do too crazy I actually think they came out really nice really good but a quick tip another quick tip is whenever I really want like to slay a unit I really want to just really put you know 
put on neck that type of thing or so I think I am I try my best to really take my time when it comes to laying my little baby hairs and I try and work in smaller sections I've tried to do like big sections I've seen people do it um, just taking like a big amount out around the, the perimeter and then just kind of laying their edges like that that doesn't really work too well for me so you'll see me here I'm taking kind of like one section at a time which is why I kind of like twisted it and moved on to the next twisted it that I just did a few seconds ago and you see me kind of working in like one swoop at a time and really making sure I do my best to perfect it also another tip that I'm that it seems to be working for me and seems to be um, like that I like and you guys as well is just really spacing out those edges like really spacing out your little baby hairs and not making them so clumped together and so thick that really really helps to make it look a bit more natural All right, y'all, so I'm back. This is how we are looking, edges nice and laid here. And now I'm just gonna move on with styling this hair really quickly. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and take my big paddle brush and comb it out. So I'm just spraying it with a little bit of water. I'm not like super saturating the hair and I'm really just going through to comb it out just in case I missed any um, of the like the shedded hairs that I got when I was plucking the hairline. You wanna make sure you do that because that can really alter your way of thinking. You may have thought that like the hair is really shedding, but really you pluck the hairline and you just didn't get all the shedded hairs out. So make sure you do not skip at this step. So the hair is absolutely beautiful. It's super soft, y'all. Keep in mind, this is 250% density. You don't have to do this thick, but if you gonna go ahead and do a unit like this, this length, then just go ahead and do it, sis. Just go ahead and do a girl and make them stare. So I'm just gonna add a few wand curls, really just to the front of my hair and to the ends. I love adding wand curls to deep wave hair. It just makes it just even that more beautiful. And that's pretty much it for this look, you guys. So. As always, great job, West Kiss. Love this unit. You guys will definitely see me rocking it in the future. I'll put all the information down below in the description box like always. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.